So this video is on our classwork from Friday before um, going on break um, on 8.2.1 sketching and writing polynomial equations worksheet. So on this, um, when you're doing this and it's in this factored form, it's actually nicer for us, um, a little easier for us to plot. So we want to first determine what the um, degree is. So this two, three, one, so that's really a one and a one. I'm gonna add those up. So when I add those up, I get five, six, seven. And then you wanna pay attention to the sign in front. So this degree is seven, and it's really a negative, negative um, situation. So when I think about that, I think about it being a, since it's odd, like a line, since it's negative, it's gonna be like a decreasing line. So it should be starting above and ending below. That's what should happen. Um, now, in terms of my roots, um, I look at this, this is gonna be a zero. I'm gonna put a D for double, okay? Uh, negative two, that's gonna be a T for triple. Um, this is going to be a one, that's a single and this is gonna be a five, so that's a single. So let me just get my X and Y axis drawn. And I'm not gonna scale my Y, cause I'm not gonna be concerned with how high or low it officially goes. I really just want the shape of it. So let me just scale this. And I'm gonna plot my points. So I have zero and that's a double, so I have to kind of pay attention to that. Negative two is a triple, one and five. And so what should happen is, again, since it's an odd, it's like a line. Since it's negative, it should be like a negative line where it's gonna start above, okay? It's gonna go through and then it's gonna end up going and finishing below, okay? Just like this does. Should start and stop in opposite directions. So um, when I graph this, Okay, um, again, it's going to start above. It's going to come up and it's going to um, start above, come to this negative two, which is a triple. So I kind of think of this as almost a open up parabola. And then here it changes concavity and it's gonna be like an open down parabola. Then it's gonna come up to this zero, which is a double, so it bounces off. Then it's gonna come back up to this, which is a single, so it's gonna go through, and it's gonna go through. And that's our graph. Um, next one. Again, nice factor form makes it easier for us. So for this, this two, it is a factor, but there, there's no x to a power here. So this, anytime it's a number, it's degree zero. Okay, so this is degree zero. This is degree one, degree one, degree one. So this is gonna be degree three. Let me get this a little darker. Degree three. And so this degree three is positive. So it's going to be like a positive line, like an increasing line. Start below and end above. Um, in terms of my roots, I have, again, two is a two. It's not gonna be a zero. There's nothing that's gonna happen here. That would just kind of be affecting our stretch, but we're not scaling our Y, so that's not gonna matter right now. We have a two, which is a single. We have a negative two, which is a single. And we have a three, which is a single. And then let me draw my graph. Okay, and it's going to end up, oh, I gotta plot my points first, sorry. So I have a point at two, at negative two, and at three. All of these are singles. So now I am going to draw my line through, line through. Again, it is a odd, Positive odds, so it just should start like a line. It's gonna start below. It's 
going to come through. Whoops. Okay, give me one sec. Okay, so it's going to come and it's going to go through, 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 because these are all singles. And there you go. I notice it starts and stops in opposite directions. Okay, starts below just like this one, ends above just like this one. Um, next graph. So for this one, um, this here has an X, so this is degree one, three, so that's four so far, five, six, seven, eight. So this is degree eight, which is an even, and it is a negative, again, because of this negative right here. Okay, that's why it's negative. So all evens are like parabolas. So it's like a negative parabola or an open down parabola. So it should be starting and stopping below the x-axis. Now in terms of roots, I have at zero, that's a single. I have at four, that's gonna be a triple. Negative one is going to be a double. And two is going to be a double. And then I'm gonna plot this. So when I'm graphing this, um, let me get my points, make them a little bigger. So I'm gonna have a point at zero. Oops, I didn't wanna do it black. Undo that, okay. So I'm gonna have at zero, at four, at negative one, and at two. And for this, when I'm going through these, again, it's going to be like the parabola that opens down, so it's gonna go open down. This one here was a double, so it's gonna come up, it's gonna bounce back, it's gonna to go to zero, which means it's gonna go through because that's a single. Then as it comes to this one, it's going to, again, bounce off because it's a double. And then here, it's gonna come and it's gonna look like that X cubed. So since it's coming from above, as it's coming down, it's gonna be like an open up parabola to like an open down parabola. And that's your graph. Now on four, Um, we are going to use some values here. So on these, um, I kind of gave you guys points to plug in. So I said, let's use this two comma negative three. So we're going to use that to find our A to be specific. This was our new type of problem today where we had an, a stretch in A that we're trying to work out. So um, I will say which point we were using each time. Um, so in this case, um, this right here, so I'm going to have an A in front. Okay, I'm going to have an A. So I have at negative 3, I have at 0, I have at 1, I have at 4. Now the 0 means that I have an X. Okay, so I'm going to have AX. It's going through, so that's regular. This one here is X plus 3, and that's a square because it bounces back. Again, this was zero, which is my X. I like to put my X in front. Um, this is uh, one, which is gonna be an X minus one. And again, it goes through, so it's a single. This one bounces, so that's gonna be a double at X minus four squared. So that would be my general equation, my basic equation. Now I'm gonna find my A. So to find my A, I'm gonna be substituting in this two and this negative three. So I'm going to go, um, negative three equals um, a times, and let me just kind of write this out, squared. So I'm going to have my plus three squared, my minus, 
one, oops, here, hold on, let me, let me re, I'll just write it out. I was going to try to color code it. Okay, um, so A, and then my, my um, again, I'm using my two, my negative three. So it's going to be times two, and then it's going to be times uh, two plus three squared times two minus one times two minus four squared. Okay, so again, I put in my two, my negative three, um, and I'm gonna put that into my calculator and see what I get. Okay, I'm just gonna push this up a bit so I can put it in here, okay. So two times two plus three squared times two minus one times two minus four squared end up with 200. Okay, so I'm gonna get it 200 here. So um, negative three equals 200A. So negative three over 200 is my A. So then when I write my final equation, I'm gonna write up at the tippy top here. Um, my final equation is going to be y equal, and again, my a is a negative um, 3 over 200, so negative 3 over 200, x times x plus 3 squared times x minus 1 times x minus 4 squared. I'm actually going to move this. Let's see if I can get all this in it. Okay, so I'm going to move all of that. And that's my answer. On the next one over here, um, I was saying let's use this point here. Let's say that that's negative two comma negative two. Okay, I'm gonna go through the same process. I need to pay attention to having doubles or triples or singles here. Um, so when I'm looking at this one, I have a point here, it's a little thicker. I have a point here at what appears to be negative three, um, and that looks like a triple. I have at zero, that looks like a single, and I have at one, and that looks like a double. Okay, so I am going to get y equal a, and then again, I like to write my x first, so that's just gonna be an x because it's just going through then this is a negative three, so that's gonna give me an x plus three, and that was a triple. And then this one here at one, so that's gonna be an x minus one, that's a double. And then I'm gonna be using that point, negative two comma negative two. And I'm gonna put that in. So um, I'm gonna go negative two equals a, and times negative two times negative two plus three cubed times negative two minus one, whoops, minus one squared, okay? Okay, and then I'm going to do that math, and when I do that math, and I go negative 2 times negative 2 plus 3 cubed um, times negative 2 minus 1 squared, I end up with a negative 18. So this one I ended up with um, negative, oops, hold on, negative 2 equals negative 18a. So when I do that division, I'm going to get a 1 ninth is equal to a because when I divide by a negative 18, I can reduce it to a 1 ninth. So my equation is going to be, and I'll write this one below here. 
Um, y equal one ninth x times x plus three cubed times x minus one squared. That's my answer. Okay, I'm just gonna box this one too. Okay, that was my answer over here. So again, for this one, y plus one, uh, sorry, y equal one ninth x plus x plus three cubed times x minus one squared. And the next one, um, I gave us this negative four, negative one. So again, as we're looking at this, um, I have at negative five, looks like a triple. This one here at negative two looks like a single. This one here at zero looks like a double. This one here at two looks like a single. So I'm gonna have y equal a times x squared, because this x, this zero is bouncing off, so it's squared. Over here, I have an x plus five cubed. Um, here, this is a single, that's gonna be an x plus two. And over here, I have an x minus two. So again, my zero, I used to like to write my zero first, so that's gonna be x squared, because it bounces off. This is going to be an x uh, plus five. This one's gonna be an x, and it was a triple. This one's gonna be an x plus two, single. This one's gonna be an x minus two, single. And then I'm gonna put in that negative four, negative one, okay? So I'm gonna have negative one equals um, a times negative one squared, and then I'm gonna get a negative one plus five cubed. I'm gonna need to move this. And um, a negative one plus two and a negative one minus two. So I can squeeze that in there. Here, I guess I'll move it again. Definitely not spacing things well today. Put that over here, move that. Okay, um, so that was um, minus two. Okay, so again, put my negative one here, put my, wow, this should have been a negative four in each of these. Let me change that. Negative four, negative four, negative four, negative four. So these are negative fours, okay? Because it was negative four, negative one. Put that in my calculator. So I'm gonna get negative one equal, okay? So I'll have a negative four squared times negative four plus five cubed um, times negative four plus two times negative four minus two is 192. So I get a 192a. So my a is equal to negative one over 192. And then I am going to put that in front. So I'll get y equal negative one over 192a. No, sorry, that is my a, apologize. Okay, um, times x squared times x plus five cubed times x plus two times x minus two. And there's your equation. Now the last three are not in the factor form or it's not a graph either that we can try to um, get an equation from. So we are gonna be graphing, but we have to try to get it to be like a um, factor form. So these ones are a little more complicated, okay? Um, when we're looking at this, whenever I factor, I never like my lead to be negative, so I'm definitely gonna factor a neg negative out, and looking at this, I can take an X from everything. So I'm gonna have a negative X times X to the fourth plus eight X squared minus 16. Now, what I want to focus on is this, Let's see if I can just get, Maybe I can't, I'm gonna write over it. I'm gonna focus on this x squared. And if I square x squared, 
I get an x to the fourth. When you have a trinomial and your middle variable, okay, in this case it's my x squared, if you square it and you get the one in front, that means it's quadratic in nature. So this x is negative x is outside. I want to factor this. So this is really just a diamond. What multiplies to negative six and adds to eight? So that's going to be a negative four and a negative four. Okay, so now I'm going to have y equal negative, and then I have not x minus 4, because this was not an x here. This was an x squared. So I'm going to have x squared minus 4 and another x squared minus 4. Now, each of these x squared minus 4s is a difference of two squares. So I'm going to get an x plus 2, x minus 2, and I'm going to get another x plus 2, x minus 2. And then um, I can really rewrite this. So what you'll notice is I have a negative x, and then here I have an x plus 2, x plus 2. So I actually have an x plus 2 squared, x minus 2, x minus 2, x minus 2 squared. So I have a single, two doubles. This is going to be degree 5, and it's going to be negative because of that negative sign. And in terms of my zeros, um, or my roots, I have a zero, I have a negative two, which is a double, and I have a two, which is a double. So, um, put my parenthesis around this properly. Okay, so now when I'm doing this, and I'm graphing this, um, I'm gonna have it cross three times, and again, since this is a, um, odd degree and it's negative, you kind of want to think about it as like a line, like a decreasing line because of the negative. So let me scale this. And let me put my points. So I have at zero. I have at negative two, but this is a double, and a positive two, and this is a double. And again, this should start above and end below. So as I come to this value, um, again, I'm starting above. This one is a double, so it's going to bounce off. This one is a single, so it's going to go through. Then this is a double, so it bounces off. Um, number eight, very similar to the one I just did, okay? Um, the thing that's different is I can't factor anything out of anything, but if you look at this x squared and this x to the fourth, if I square x squared, I get x to the fourth. So this is one of those quadratic in nature problems. So I can ask myself, okay, what multiplies to positive 20 and adds to negative 21? That's going to be a negative 20 and a negative 1. And again, this was not an x, so this is not x minus 20, x minus 1. It's an x squared. So this is going to be x squared minus 20, x squared minus 1. Now, this x squared minus 20, I cannot, it's not a difference of two squares. This is going to be as factored as it is. I'm going to solve that, though. This x squared minus 1, I could factor further, and that is going to be an x plus 1, x minus 1. And then in terms of my roots, I have a plus or minus root 20. I actually do get two answers here, and if you're wondering how did I get do that, I took x squared minus 20 and I set it equal to 0. So I added 20 to both sides, then I square rooted it. Now, I'll put this in my calculator as an approximation, but that's my answer, my root. I also am going to have a negative one, and I'm going to have a positive one. So I've got these four. So when I graph it, now the square root of 16 is four, the square root of 
25 is 5. So this has to be in between 4 and 5. If I want to be a little more precise, it is going to be a, a, about a 4.5, about a 4.47. Okay, so that was about a 4.47. And when I plot my points, I have at negative one, a single, positive one, a single. And then again, that was a four point, about a four and a half. So I really should extend this out. Okay, so a four and a half-ish and a negative four and a half-ish. And then if I look at this degree, Again, I can look from here, and this is a degree four, but I can also count this is a two, three, four. So it is a degree four. It is a positive degree four, so it's like a parabola. It should start and stop below. So let me just get rid of this out of my way. So when I'm drawing this, it's going to, all of these are singles, so it's going to come through, 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 through. And last one. Um, this one, I can factor something out of everything. Okay. And when I do, I'm going to have y equal x squared times x squared minus 9, where this is a difference of two squares. So I'm going to get x squared times x plus 3, x minus 3. So I got, well, here I can see that I've got 4. So now I'm going to um, get my zeros. So this is going to be 0, which is a double. This is going to be negative 3, which is a single, and positive 3, which is a single. And when I plot this, um, zero, it's a double, negative three single, positive three single, and I'm going to go through, and again, it's, it's a positive even, so it's like a parabola. Um, this is a single, this is a double, so it's going to bounce back, and this is a single, and that's your graph.